Over the past few years, there's been a boom of companies coming out with brand new controllers for the Nintendo 64. But the one option that's been very lacking has been wireless controllers for the system. Plenty of other consoles have been getting wireless controllers, but the Nintendo 64 has been kind of left alone a little bit. I mean, there's been some options, but they haven't been that great. That's where this comes in. We're going to be taking a look at the Retro Fighters Brawler 64 wireless gamepad. So, yes, this is based off of their previous Nintendo 64 controller. They did have a wired one for the Nintendo 64. They've come out with a USB version and controllers for other systems as well. A lot of people really like this controller with its form factor and whatnot. And this actually, besides just being wireless, has some improvements over this original version. So I wanna talk about that and show that in this video real quick. So there's a few different colors of this coming out. They did send these to me for purpose of review a little early. Um, I did back them on Kickstarter. So yeah, I did buy one, but these two were sent to me just to check out with you guys. So. If you didn't get in on the Kickstarter, they are going to be available on Castlemania Games. I'll put a link in the description. Those should be shipping, you know, pretty soon, shortly after the Kickstarter ones. But here we go. I believe on uh, Castlemania, these are 40 bucks each. 2.4 gigahertz wireless. That's what we're getting here. Wireless range of over 30 feet. Now, I have tested these, and I believe it was like around 25, 30 feet, and they still registered just fine. I mean, I didn't go for a jog and try playing it but you know a, a fairly large distance might have even been over 30 feet but who's going to play that far away right but the the range is really good the connection stays solid ergonomic comfortable design featuring dual z digital triggers so the one thing they did was they did change the uh the z buttons on this i actually really like it ultra fast turbo function compatible with memory packs responsive analog stick the analog stick once we get this out of the box it, uh, most of this is going to look exactly the same uh, compared to the original Brawler 64. And there's, you know, a bunch of different colors to those. I'm not going to bust them all out right now. I just got this blue one, one of my favorites. Um, but when you look at these two, they're, they're going to look pretty identical. But there's some other things going on here that are different, right? The analog stick on the new wireless version has been, like, fine-tuned. I don't know exactly what they've done with this, but... I have tested it out quite a bit and it's a lot better than how they had this one set up, even though a lot of people like this, but yeah, just something worth uh, noting. Now, as you see, we don't have a controller pack slot on the wireless one. We do have a USB-C charging port. Uh, the reason we don't have a memory pack is because the wireless adapter that plugs into the Nintendo 64 has that. So for games that support saves, on a memory pack, which I mean, a lot of the games just support saves through the actual game pack. You still have that option, but you cannot use rumble packs or transfer packs on this. So keep that in mind, but there you go. Pretty much gonna look identical. The button feel, everything feels pretty much the same. So the one thing that was different is these Z buttons on here. On the original brawler, it's like, you know, you could depress it all the way. Like a, like a trigger. These are just digital click, 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 click. I actually really like these a lot better with the way they feel. So that's one big difference. But let's go ahead and get this going. Oh, let's, let's take out the red one. I, I think there's a couple other colors as well. But I think the red one looked really nice too. I mean, is it red? I'm not even sure what you would call this. but And they come with the, the, the same color adapter so if you get multiple ones you're not gonna mix up the adapter unless you get like a bunch of gray ones but if you get like different colors you know what i mean just match them up and you're good to go the usb c oh and they they do come with the uh, the little keychain so i forgot to point that out like their controllers always come with the little keychains that match the color of the controller so there's that the little instruction manual just real quick some minor things and it just tells you like some of the same information that's on the box that it takes uh, two and a half hours to fully charge. That's what I was getting at with the USB-C charge port. Two and a half hours to fully charge it. 10 plus hours battery life once it is fully charged. And how to pair. Pretty simple stuff actually. So let's turn this on. And we'll go into the, um, I do have uh, in the tools. I just press start 
and it instantly syncs. And the manual, it says to like hold start uh, for a few seconds to sync it. But when I first opened this prior to this video, I just hit start and it just automatically synced. So I think that is fine. Maybe if you have to resync it, you would hold start, but there's that. So let's uh, do a few tests here. You know what? The one that a lot of people always tell me to do is uh, Smash Bros to see how the uh, the analog stick responds. Like, you know, the sensitivity of the analog stick. So let's, let's get to the character select screen and try that out. So here we go. We got the cursor all the way on the end of the screen. Let's go ahead and just slightly press, push more, goes faster. I think it's, it's, it's pretty responsive. It's not like you barely nudge it and it goes full speed. You really have to get the analog stick. Like it, it looks like it maxes out. Let me see what the like max speed is. It looks like it gets to like max speed when it's a couple millimeters away from the edge. So I think that I think the sensitivity is really good as far as that goes. But let's go into the tools and do the controller test. Controller test tool. This is always good to see how like if your if your analog stick on original controllers is bunk or you know testing different controllers just to see how the analog stick responds. But you have a few different tools here to test the range and whatnot. But here we go. So hold the stick in its most upward position. I'm just gonna fly through this. And there you go. The benchmark results for the analog stick. We're getting 95 and 96s across the board. So it's a fairly even octagon on this screen. Now, if we cycle through the results, you'll see an original analog stick brand new on an original controller for the Nintendo 64. It's going to be between 84, 83, 85 for each side. Uh, that's what you want with an original controller. And then a few different ones get kind of wonky. The ranges get a little higher, uh, fake OEM style all over the place, especially that down range. Uh, GameCube style, you get that square shape, everything pretty even. Uh, some people are fine with those style, but I think with this being an octagon and having that little higher sensitivity, it's very comparable to an original analog stick because the ranges are pretty similar, but just a little more sensitive. So there's that. I, I think this performs great with the way they have it designed and that analog stick. It's just, it's a little bit better than the original. So let me, let me plug this in. Let me plug in the original Brawler 64 and test the analog on this. And there you go. So uh, I think this has been pretty consistent um, when I've tested the original Brawler 64. So it, it just shows they've got this a little bit more fine-tuned to where you're not getting those the ranges being off a little bit uh, where it's pretty much even across the board. So that, that's a good thing in my opinion, my opinion. So there is that. And plug this one I've never even used. So I'm going to just plug in the dongle press start and see it just instantly sync to it i didn't have to hold the start button i've never used this one i've only used this one so yeah just hit start and it automatically syncs do a little a little mario 64 see how uh how things respond but overall i think for the 40 dollar price range on this controller um and the way they've They've kind of fine-tuned it a bit more, even though it's very familiar. I do love the, the Z buttons quite a bit more than I do on that, uh, you know, the original Brawler. This has been the way I've been playing 
you know, they hit it out the park with this one. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, well, I prefer a different style and that's fine. I mean, it's just about options. I like this right now. Um, once there's more options out there, maybe I'll like a different option more. I, I don't know at this time. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, I feel like the Retro Fighters wireless controller with 2.4 gigahertz, very low latency. Let me see. Press, like, everything feels good to me. Very responsive. I'm not having any crazy, like, input lag or anything. Um, but I feel this is the best option that's currently available or going to be available very soon. Like I said those Kickstarter ones should be going out pretty soon. They sent out updates on that. So I'm looking forward to getting the one that I, you know, ordered through that. That way I'll have at least a few of them, right? Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm really digging it. I've been using these quite a bit. If you guys want to grab one, check out link in the description. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think. I'm digging it. It's very familiar to the previous version. Not much else to say. Not having any issues with anything. Digging it. So appreciate you guys. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom.